Mr. Mack. Our second inductee from the Veterans Committee is another gentleman from Massachusetts, Louis DeMaury from Devon. When I was quite young, which was quite a while ago, I uh, used to buy all the trade papers, Illustrated and National, still have them, and uh, read through there, and I kept seeing this name, as this gentleman's cars, winning sprint car races, not only throughout New England, but all through the Northeastern seaboard. And they said, wow, this guy's pretty good. And he had some big name drivers. And uh, as years went by, uh, didn't see Louie's name in the paper anymore, but uh, a mutual friend told me that Louie was back at it. In his 90s, he's, he and his two sons who are with him here today, they recreated the second version, the second car he had, and they're running in vintage races. Fortunately, they don't let Louie drive around too much, but the boys take the car out. But Louie's cars were good in that day. He's running a little flathead Model A, B block. And his, in my mind, one of his main claims to fame was his car won the first ever race at the Thompson Connecticut Speedway on May 26, 1940, with David Dizzy Vance of Boston driving. And they beat some high dollar machines with supposedly better engines. But Louie was a self-taught guy, knew his stuff, and he knew how to make a car go. And he still does. When he traveled down to the mid-Atlantic coast, his fame and his cars were so well known that if he showed up without a driver, there was an absolute waiting list of named drivers, Hank Rogers Sr., uh, of men of that ilk that wanted to drive Louie's cars. Lee Waller, who won Indianapolis, took a few rides in Louie's cars and won a race at Flemington, New Jersey, which was no easy place. So Louis today uh, has one of the few race cars that is driven on the street to a car show at Dead of Mass every July, because their garage is up maybe a mile. Uh, it's kind of semi-street legal, but being such a long-time citizen of Dedham, nobody minds. And Louis and his boys just run up and back to the show and back to the garage. So I'd like to uh, welcome Louis up here, and uh, people, if you get a chance, talk to Louis. This guy is truly a treasure. He's been involved since the mid-30s, far longer than most of us even care to contemplate, and he's still sharp as a tack. And we welcome Louie into the New England Auto Races Hall of Fame. Come on down, Louie. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. Uh, I ran right here. Huh? Cool. 